Michael, I thought I'd never see you again. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Fusion Designs and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to install our ultimate electronic kit from Mike Lane. This is for the Fan Home Knight Rider kit build. And you're thinking, what's all this in front of me? Well, you're gonna need a few things so you could keep things organized. Hopefully, this should keep things a little bit more organized. So, we have these um, fella film plastic bags that you could get on Amazon. And the reason why I got these, well, I had them, is that you could put all your screws and this is a bit of masking tape. So you could just cut. Where is it? <laughs> there it is. So just get a bit of the masking tape, cut some off, stick it on the bag and mark which screws are in which bag. So that will keep things organized and also, if you go to the Mike Lane um, website, this is the ultimate electronic kit. And you can see this is what we have all in the kit. So, thankfully, Mike has given us instructions. I'm just trying to find those so you have two you have preparing your model step by step and installation guide so we're gonna go first to prepare our model but so that's to prepare our, our kit from the Knight Rider and um, as you can see I'm suggesting if you have a tablet the phone um, mobile phone uh, view is quite limited and with the tablet you could actually zoom in see what screws go where you can see it's facing up so it you can actually view a lot better on the tablet so we're gonna prepare our model first before we're gonna attempt to install our electronic kit so i'm just going to now bring over and start to remove a few things so i'm just gonna get on with that and be back with you so this is my night rider kit and as you can see it is slightly different than yours would be um i do have mike lane's uh, monitors I do have a lot more cables here because I was going to do my own modification, but thank goodness for my claim. And that I won't be using my mods. Um, I will be replacing all that. This cable is the, the USB um, power adapter cable to power the, the whole model up. And you can see a few things here, like battery the tanks and all kinds of things that's been modified but in that in mind we have to now start to get our model and um, prepared so first off you can see it says we won't need these parts depending if you have the monitor or not so some of these parts you would need if you are using the monitor then you would just disregard everything you see here all of that you can see we have the gm screws that need to be removed from this section oh let's just get our bag ready and remove these screws like i said just get your tape just cut a little bit off just so we could mark it that on a bag and let's mark this GM I think on the work yes G M. Well, those 
will go in there all the screws so let's just get our screwdriver ready and remove all of our gm screws so we have removed all of our gm screws and the cover so put our cover just for now here get all of our gm screws put them in these bags for safe keeping So when we need to install things back, let's look back at Mike Lane's instructions and um, you will see what will need to be installed back. try and disregard all these cables you will not have all these cables and uh, you will have just a few that are plugged into the board so you have to excuse me on that you're just removing the gm screws from the speaker cover let's get these into our gm bag you will have to go back to Mike Lane's instruction guide when installing things back. So that's the cover. And um, it just bears my tweezer. You'll be removing all these cables. Try and keep all the labels on. I'll remove every cable from the board and I will get back to you. But um, we have unplugged our speaker. So we won't need this anymore because Mike has given us a replacement speaker. So let's just put that aside. I've just prepared a bag with pm screws let's get our screwdriver ready where is it there it is and disconnect our board that was from fran home we will be replacing this with mike lane's board and that's four P pm screws put that aside Put our battery cover aside and just let's remove our board. Oops, there was one more. Okay. This is our board, and you can keep this safe for future reference if needed, but we won't be needing this anymore because Mike Lane has supplied a new board. Okay, we have prepared another bag. They are for the AM screws and I believe this is for the, I'm just looking, which we need to remove, that's our switch, now unscrewed and now the four AM screws for the battery box. Well, that's our AM screws for the switch and battery box they have been removed. Mine did have a power mod on there, only to power up my you can see my radio I had on. Oh, we won't be needing this anymore. So we have um, had another bag. I've labeled this GM floor. Just to not confuse the other GM. Because we know all what needs to be put back for the board and the battery box. is the GM there. But this one, it might confuse things. So I just labeled that GM floor. This makes it a little bit easier to remember. 
I know what's holding it. It's the steering rack. Oh, I can't believe I'm... Goodness me. Okay, let's try to remove the steering rack. I need my glasses for this. Can't really see. And there's the screw, I believe. Just here. That should be quite loose now. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of cables that's holding this in place. We have to remove our dashboard from the floor. What I'm going to do is remove this off so you could access this once i've removed the floor pan with whatever needs to be removed then i will come back to you oh well, we are finally back and um it looked quite daunting but actually it wasn't so bad and um there was just a few things in the way it was mostly the steering rack as soon as that was um, unscrewed, it was quite easy to remove. So, really, let's try to get some more protection on here. Um, this is my mat. From part work, upgrades. A bit more protection. Like I said, there's a few mods that I had on here that will be removed now I believe these are from Mike Lane's monitor trying to separate the cables that one that one these ones are lines for the modification I did Oh, I did prepare a bag earlier. These are B EP screws. Oh no no! Oh yes yes! <laughs> oh, that's why he's did that. Um, not removed that, but we've done that anyway, so probably save us a bit of time. Now we have to remove uh, a more BP screws. All those are removed. I think. Can we? Okay. Yes. Yep. Let's put these screws in our bag. Uh, BP screws. And put these two aside for the moment and now let's just take that aside we will be coming back to that oh we have a dashboard now ready for my lanes it's in. i have upgraded my um brake pedal to one of these switches well, Mike is telling us to remove the inner interior panels oh. the ones that are this location those are CP screws was telling us just to remove the inner panel I guess let's just remove the LEDs as well so we have removed our panels put these in a safe place and um, I believe it's telling us to uh, we need to actually take these 
telling me to remove these screws as well and i believe these are bp screws okay we have removed this already we need now to remove i believe all this panel and that's it's they are all bp screws let's try and remove everything here <sighs> that was a little bit tough we got there yeah i make this as neat as possible remove parts that's not needed around for now so we will be moving j and l so that's l and we have to look eight j so these will will be removed oh l has been removed and we we remove this without taking anything apart i don't think so i think we have to just unscrew these to get to the other cables oh. l and j has been removed this is the mike lane mod I've removed that and there's a lot to do but we will get there okay so we are going to be now removing a few things just to make sure now if you this is really intended to be fitted with the mike lane um, monitor as you can see yeah and um this um all these cables that um are with now um left over need to be removed so we remove these cables and these cables i will try and let you know how to fit this cable if you are intending not to install this but try and bear in mind that this is to fit the mic lane monitor well we will be removing this very carefully won't be needing this and uh black and gray cable and do we need to remove this cable sorry i'm just looking all at the cables that need to be removed uh, i think we do need to remove this data cable Um, I believe that will be removed. And is this three? And three needs to be removed. So most of the cables, as you can see, well, all of the cables, except leave. Cable is this. This is I. I have not seen I at the moment to be removed. I'm moving everything out the way, trying to keep things as simple as possible. All these screws are I, uh, sorry, um, EP screws. So my mono, uh, my dashboard has been um, modified. You can't see. These are Mike Lane's uh, dash grills. But everything 
will be transferred because I did have I did purchase one a long time ago a new dashboard so my new dashboard will be ready for my claims new kit so it should make things a little bit easier when installing so let's just put this aside for now keep that very safe and careful so let's remove these cables So far, we will be now removing everything and probably getting now to good stuff. So we have our mic lane monitor. Mike is just saying very carefully put a PH old screwdriver. Just very carefully pop screen out as you can see it's removed get ready to installation oh so i have one more part that i can disassemble and it is my front end as you can see i haven't done much to it and the only thing you can see is a modification i used to do on my website which i'm not doing anymore it's these um, side indicators and you can see there's some LEDs stuck in there so but on your build you won't have this so please please um, disregard this but so this won't be on your build only thing if you up to my stage um, which is I believe it was 70 um, you will be here so I'm just going to remove the scanner because Mike Lane has um, replaced the scanner for us. All we do is remove these screws. And our friend from our Facebook group has... been doing some replacement parts for the scanner which I will be probably installing to go along with Mike Lane's um, kit so you can see these parts so the bigger screws that was yeah these ones are PB screws. So let's put these in our bags so we won't confuse where they go. Need to install it back. That's one. And the smaller screws was AP screws and that was to hold the scanner in. That will go into our AP screw bag. Now we have to take this part off. So these are um, GM screws. They will go in this bag. So those are the only GM screws that are there that needs to, to be removed. And um, you can indicate it did pop out. So all these parts you will not be needing now. As you can see, everything is removed. Um, I'm just going to give you a preview. This is the part that Christian has made from our Facebook group. Um, it replaces that uh, screws on today, on today, as you can see. And it could help to il illuminate um, LEDs better onto the scanner. But um, we will test it out and see how that goes and yeah so thank you christian for that really amazing art oh well, yeah so let's let's remove this and that's everything that i've come up to stage 70 that's been removed so you can see um that's been removed we have our front end ready i'm going to show you our dashboard this is everything ready there well, this is as it should be looking 
for now. And I'm gonna show you my um removed my like lane monitor. Also you can see the interior everything has now been removed you can see a few modifications that i have done for myself and you can see mike lanes carpets and big pads so yeah there's a lot of things going on in there but if you haven't done mike lanes um, modifications yours will not have this you won't have the carpets you won't have that you won't have that and yours will be hand color so everything that you're seeing here modified but hopefully i'm not confusing um you guys too much but try and bear in mind everything that has been removed the cable has been removed all cables for the dashboard has been removed and my lane's dash uh, monitor has been removed the scanner has been removed and ready for the front end i haven't done anything to the body yet because i'm not up to that stage so hopefully i will put the instructions uh onto the board on and also into the description and you will have to follow from 70 i think it's 81 or something like that that it will show you how to chase the wires around the arches and everything so let's get on to the next video and that will be the installation guide so thank you guys for watching the disassemble guide and looking forward to seeing you all in the installation guide thank you